What's going on, everybody? It is Spicy Topic, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. It's truly a blessing that God gave you another day, another moment, another opportunity to mother somebody. And on that note, you see the picture, so you already know what I'm going to talk about for those of you who are tuned in to this guy. This guy, he's really lost. You know, I actually, I'm going to be honest. I've been through a lot, so dealing with this type of person who I know is manipulating women in their 20s. Let me tell you about women in their women in their 20s, okay? Women in their 20s are ready for the man to snatch them up, marry them. They want a family. They, at this point, feel like they should be chosen. That's the ages in the early 20s where women are most naive and gullible and ends up falling for guys. Looking for love in all the wrong places. And when you're disappointed because that person does not turn out to be who you thought. Then you start going for those guys that you know you shouldn't be falling for. And in this situation, this is extremely heartfelt for me. Because as I tune in here and there to this community of people. Where this guy has these women that live with him. Which he's living in another woman's home. He has also men with him. Not children, but men. Yes, they have children. Some of them. This guy left his kids. And from what I'm told, he had four. He has four kids. He believes in creating children. But he is not present in their lives. He considers any child that's not born in this community, which I believe is a cult. He believes that they are because they are born of Babylon, Babylonian, that... They should stay outside of his community. They he doesn't have too much to do with them. So you 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 creating these kids and then you're leaving them. If, if their mom, like he had a recent woman that left, younger woman, tw in her twenties, Eliana, who has a daughter by him, she got pregnant within this community. So that means that she's now going to have a fatherless child. That the environment that they are in is sick. So let's get into this video. And yes, I am going to put this video out. Yes, because it's extremely important for me as a woman of God who, yes, I sin all the time. It is a battle, but I repent and I truly mean in my heart that I do want to live right. I do believe in Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. I do believe that he died and rose again for everybody. And I know that he exists. You know, I want to break, I want to review this video in hopes of changing some of your minds. You got to get stronger. You cannot allow these types of men to manipulate you. I'm going to show you exactly where they're getting in. You got to be quick with these types of people, period. They speak, they talk. All he do is talk. He talks. He does not let you talk because letting you talk is going to confuse him. He does not have the answers. He pretends that he does. You got to be swift young women. You can't abandon your kid seven for this guy. You said you've known him from what 2016 2017 is what you said in this video I'm about to play. If you've known him that long, and I only just knew of this guy briefly, really where I'm listening into what he does, I mean months. Since Young Pharaoh, I mean, not even then. Young Pharaoh did videos way, way, way long time ago. I didn't, I wasn't even watching those videos. But since I watch Young Pharaohs and I'm subscribed to him, his video of this guy came up, I would say, at least seven, eight months ago. And that's when I started to really be, like, tuned in and fascinated with how weak-minded women and men are. But I, there's a reason for that. These girls are being told by this guy that they have to shut off their mother, that they have to leave their kids, come with him, leave their jobs, and they actually fall for him. So let's just start this video because it's a lot. Yes, buddy. <laughs> well, let's talk about this, these emotions. I felt so energy. Hey, buddy. No, no, no. You, you did. You probably did, but that's because you didn't respond back to Azori when she said. What'd she say? She heard your voice and she was like, um, is that Baba G? She was like, oh, is that Baba? I said, Baba G, I said, yeah. She said, tell him that I said, hey. And da -da -da -da. she was talking about everybody there and she just had a whole conversation by herself. I was just like, yeah, that's Baba G. 
Oh, she's talking about, oh. Let's talk about the feelings, because you was in the room one minute. So as you can see, he does not care about your child. That's easy. He just completely disregarded her yet again. You just told him, express, that you basically ignored the little girl. And he just, sk oh, and skips right over that. And, and saying his name is silly. Last week, his name wasn't no Baba G. Like, this guy keeps changing his names. I don't understand how y'all falling for this instability. This is a very unstable situation. And then you left. I felt it. Let's go. Uh, that's some powerful shit if you felt that. Yep, I felt it. I wanna, that's why I like. You was in the room, then you heard something you ain't like, and you left. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, because I really like, I'm off this. I'm, about to, I'm, I'm off now. Yep, I felt that. Let's talk about it. All right. We'll it's do. a real nigga moment. Can't hold it in. Gotta talk about it. I will be cutting this video down, but if y'all want to catch the full video, the T has all these videos. You can definitely go over there and check out the content over there because they get all the videos. I tried to screen record it, but I'm not successful and I'm not playing this entire thing. But I will be the parts that really need to be talked about and from my channel and my perspective, that's what I'm gonna focus on. But just to give you all a general idea of what this conversation is about what you want me to call you come on man what do you want to call me baby i'm sorry <laughs> just call me baby then i'm just joking you joking for real you just serious and that is the first step in you want to call him baby you already know the situation you know he with these two women up here and you want to, the baby, you're letting him know you're ready to be played. That's the type of guy he is. That's how he thinks. You're easy. And then she denies it. So that's another way for him to now play with your words. You gave that to him. Uh, I don't know. I just be wanting to call you what you want to be called. Somebody said, call me Mandingo um, Babaji. <laughs> Babaji. Mandingo Babaji. <laughs> This is my command. Baba, Baba. Where my babies at? They over here. They was painting them a while ago. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. What's up, baby? Hey, Baba. Ready? What's up? Hey, Baba G. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. And see, she exposed her kids too fast to this guy. I don't care. You know the history of this guy. You know the allegations that was put out there, how he's perverted. You know that the people there, out of their own mouths, talked about their perversions. There are people there that has had encounters with underage and kids, and that's been talked about. That's enough for you to not do that with her daughter, the one that he really takes on to, the one that was they just show on the camera that she showed. That little girl has... A blessing anointings over her life I can see it in her eyes there's something very special about her but what I find very haunting is that she looks just like her mother and I see this I can feel the presence of her mother's essence which is a gift from God I feel that it's perversion I feel like his interest in her coming only because he does express that in this video that he's very much into the oldest daughter coming over he takes on to her you know and I think that's just a mistake that's asking for somebody to take advantage you know what I'm saying? People mad at R. Kelly, but you got people out here like him that some of these people out here are praising or looking over this mess. That's what's wrong. Y'all look over everything. You don't take the proper protection, caution. You so busy worrying about some calling him baby. And he got two chicks right here that left their kids. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm not trying to be nice about it. I need you to think as a woman, think. You know, stop seeking. You are a beautiful woman. You are, you have a strong essence about you. One that has power. I noticed that this man being, he pretends to be masculine. He's not. He's not. He's more sensitive and he's more, has a more feminine nature than a, na that he argues a lot. He's very argumentative. That's ladylike. That's like a woman. So he's, a, he has characteristics that more feminine. And this woman has more of a dominant. She's more of a, powerful being she's very feminine but she has definitely have a lot of
power with her. And she's one that is also like Eliana, who I saw fought for her mind. She kept coming in, going, coming, going, because she was fighting spiritual battle warfare. She wanted to be with this guy. He sleeps with you. That's what that's what men like him do. They sleep with you because that's the portal to start the process, to start playing with you. He takes all that power, all that beauty, all that essence he's attracted to. But it makes him feel more masculine when he can turn you into a weak link. When he sucks you dry out of all of your God-given power... And I'm seeing perversion with your daughter. And I don't understand with all y'all talk these astrology things. You, sh If they're your Scorpio, you, you got Pisces and Cancer and all these intuitive natures about you. How can you not see that? How I mean, I don't I don't get it from a physical plane or a spiritual plane. How you can't see that perversion that he has towards your daughter. Your daughter should not be allowed to communicate with him that much. You people got to know when to protect and how. Just protect your kids. Stop putting your kids in front of these kind of people. Why would you let your child, who you know has some beautiful characteristics about herself physically very mature all the things that he likes about you why would you put her in front of this guy period any child why this guy has two girlfriends right now right there but any given moment he, he throws them over to the other men in the camp then he snatches them back he's spiritually infested with demonic spirits and he's looking for you to pump a baby in you gotta wake up seven What am I doing? I'm I'm talking my I'm talking to mommy about her um her emotional um episode. How is it a episode? Because um something was said. Love you. Why huh? I, 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 I got all of you. I said something was said that you didn't Sorry, like. I can't hear it. Something that something was said that you didn't like hearing, and you, you tuned off, and I felt it. I know that I gotta share in so many ways it is what it is but you you don't think that you should have to because no. a part a part of you feel like you shouldn't have to no i don't i, I i've been sharing you forever since 2017 six and once again she's exposing to him when you keep listen you you trying to look for somebody to settle down with he is not the one y'all y'all he telling you this this is how he get to use you he tells you what he's not going to give you and yet he still plays with you because you still there you still answering his calls you're still probably meeting up with him whenever he asks you to whenever you feel like it you you can act and pretend that you're not interested and you're detached and you have it under control but if he got your feelings he got you but you know that this guy is not the type of guy you want. Yet and still, this is what they do. They still hope that he chooses her. I mean, you asking for another heartbreak. You're asking for another heartbreak. You know? And it's just, it's just got to stop. It's got to be a point where you avoid some of those conflicts. This is not the conflict you want. Because more than just you dealing with a man that deals with all these this this just perversion leaving leaving jobs don't work no more come with us come over here uh he's the lord he calls himself the messiah all that blasphemy you don't want to deal with those problems you don't want to deal god said i will one thing i will not forgive i'll forgive anything but a blast someone who blasphemes against the holy spirit they cannot be forgiven this guy puts himself in that position. And if you want to get caught up with those demonic entities that's infested in him. Malia, I see a lot of, with the one up there, not the light-skinned one on the top, but the, the brown-skinned one. I see a lot of demon, demon possession in that girl. Okay? You will notice if you look at her in, in this video when she comes up, because I'm about to cut some of this down. You're going to see her. She gets to this place where she's moving about. Her lips are contorted. She's always, it's, it's a, a, a demonic entity. Have you moving like that? Facial contortions, body distortions, moving, touching people. All in the other girl's ear. She does that a lot. She has really denied herself. She has really kicked out what God put in her to allow this man, all because you want a man, keep it real. It's not about knowledge. It's about you got caught up with this man. And he knows it, but he's going to continue. So let's get to the, let me get to the end because it's, I don't want this video to be extremely long. 
but I want y'all, this is the, the uh, whole purpose is to give y'all this wisdom because this is knowledge and I'm trying to save some lives here. So be advised, girl. Be advised. Yeah, when you came close. You said when you came close to what? When you came close, it was like, you know what I mean? It's a different story, you say? Yeah, you got here. I don't think so. I, I'm not... I'm I'm I am possessive in a sense, but I'm just getting I'm, I feel like in time and stuff and over experience, I just it's not you the think it's amazing that I felt that though. Huh? You think it's amazing that I felt that? Yeah, I mean I'm not surprised because I'll be feeling very connected to you in, in so many ways. So that that was funny though that you peeped it in a way. But... And you try to play it off like, hey, peace reflection. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> Try to answer the phone like peace reflection. Um, nah, it's because I mean, yeah, because I was about to get over it. Like, I know you was about to cook, you was about to, you know what I'm saying? I just hit him up later, but I'm gonna stay here extra day because of that. Up, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just got an extra two days put on. <laughs> Till I get there. Okay. I can do this as long as you want, nigga. I'm, you know what? I'm killing, nigga. <laughs> you funny. You be knowing. You be knowing, though. That's funny. I'm put an like, extra two I'll... days and in, in, in no seven prison. I don't got to say nothing. <laughs> yeah. Hey. How many days did I get myself in the hole, nigga? Like, <laughs> fuck, fucking around with, with my fucking Mariah ass. <laughs> nah. It's not her fault. I like her. She's very, I like her. She's yes, baby. I, I, I like it. Way too inactive. Way too, I'm sorry, too active. You should not be talking to him. He is not your papa. This is a mistake. And you can, t you can see. Now, this is what I give him. He's not a dumb guy at all. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. What he's doing, he, it's overtaking him. He can't help it at this point. He is being controlled by wicked. He, he Wicked desires. Wicked and cruel desires to control, manipulate weak and easy women. He knows the types. He knows what to look for. He is not, does not want to be their dad. Okay. So that can cut it out. You can see that after the baby said Bobby or whatever, Papa, I don't know. He moved the camera. Why did you move the camera? Well, I don't know, but I can tell you what I think. You probably don't really want to deal with the kids. You're putting on a front as if you do. If that was the case, you would have your own kids. I don't think that your mission is not the kids. Your mission is her. Your mission is to break this woman down and take away her power. You're, you're, it's a spirit that feeds. It's beyond him. It is a spirit of possession that feeds on women's power. Powerful, strong women. If he can get them, that empowers him. That's feeding that spirit. That's feeding that spirit that wants to dominate, wants to strip her of what God gave her. Because that's what the enemy does. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. I mean, I don't understand why you're still having your little girl that he's already fond of. He doesn't want the little girl, the baby, to come. He wants the oldest one to come. And he's pretending that it's because it's her higher self. What he does understand, what I can see in the little girl, that is her. The little one looks just like her. And like I said, the essence of the child is her. And that is what he's attracted to. So I fear what could go on with a perverse-minded man and a child that he's fond of that reminds him so clearly of the mother that he's so attracted to. Let's just keep going, y'all. Try to get through it. She missed it. Peace reflection. Hmm. How you feeling? Talk to your sisters. Hi, sister wives. <laughs> sister wives. Oh, I, like, I like that. Um. Uh. <laughs> you funny. What? How I'm you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Wonderful. When are you coming? Ooh. Why sarcastic voice? No. Yes. Back up. We can't see your face. <laughs> see, like, 
amazing. Why what? everybody? Why y'all think I'm being? I'm for real. I really do feel amazing. Why? We can see you struggling with your demons. All right, you know what? I am struggling in a sense. Damn, I'm, keep it real, son. Keep it real, son. With, with, I'm not jealous or anything. Not that. What is it? You're open to hear. I, I, I'm going to tell you what it is. Can I tell you what it is? You can say I want to see if it's... Go ahead. I'm listening. All right. I don't think, I don't think women understand that they are, they are... You have a primitive nature to want to fertilize your eggs um, and survive just as a man wants to fertilize his... Wants to plant a seed. A female wants to fertilize her eggs before another female does. You know what I'm saying? Seven, you know that's not what that is. But my problem is you you didn't tell him what it was. See how she just got quiet and she allowed him to answer for her? That is all a trick. And I will tell you what that trick is. All of that I will talk to you. It's called power play. Playing of words. See, it's deep. And I'm going to get into that It's really in, in, a, in a few minutes because this video is getting to be too long. She does not want to them women she want you and you know that she's a one woman i'm sorry a one man type of woman she don't want that so she's going to be just like eliana she's going to constantly battle she's still attracted to you highly so she's not that's why she's not rejecting your calls and blocking you and telling you to go get hit the road and don't come back because she's obviously still in, invested and attracted to him but she does not want them to and i'm telling you i see some with malia I see something with her evil. She goes and she tries to get these women in this trap. That is evil. And I don't want to blame her because I um, today was a day where I just sat and I watched all these videos to bring me back to God. Watching people that died and went to hell and heaven. God took them there. And I've had an encounter with God several times in my life. I know he's real. And you know, so that changed me. I was hating him. And I was wishing death on him. But I, God stopped me from doing that. I can't do that. It's, I'm not going to allow myself to become hateful. I'm not going to do that. Um, so I have to confess that. Even though that was harsh, it was how I felt because I did not like what he was doing. But I'm, God's going to deal with him. So there's no need for me to be hateful. You know, and God commands that we love and we forgive because the Father forgives us. Forgive, uh, forgive them so that the Father can forgive you. And that's what he put in my heart. You know, but I just I'm hoping that, you know, she does not fall victim to his wishes. You don't want to settle for that type of relationship. But as long as he can keep her hooked, then he got her booked. It is what it is. So so there's a primitive nature. And, huh? I'm listening. But what about the woman that already I don't feel that way because I already have. I, I'm already have two. Yeah, but you want more kids. That's just whether you mentally want that or not. Your body wants it. Your body wants to do that. Yeah. So it's a part of your chemistry. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of your like your equilibrium. Like your body wants to fertilize those eggs you have. You don't just stop because you're like, oh, you know what? I don't want them. No, them eggs still jumping. I agree, and that's why it's so necessary to and have... so now that you found the man that you do want right. to reproduce, you want everything out of the way, and you want all of his attention, because you know that it's going to take all of his attention to fertilize your eggs. You know that it's going to take... You know that it's going to take a strong bond for him to goddamn fertilize them damn eggs. <laughs> all right guys so i'm gonna cut it here and i am going to come back and do a separate video to continue you know this is important for me after today you know I, I shed a lot of tears and i i just i hope that 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 god can jump in even if i'm the one that can help y'all can help and help you know because this is total manipulation and god does not manipulate he is a god that gives you a choice he does not force himself on anybody he gives you a choice and one thing i'll get further into in the next video is more so what he does he goes into scriptures and the reason you find yourself so uh fascinated with the knowledge quote that he gives it's not it's not him 
He has none. He gets his scriptures from the, the knowledge itself, the Bible. The Bible, which was created thousands of years ago, the most best-selling book till day, till this day on the market. The Bible, the Holy Bible. He gets his scriptures from the Bible. The Lord says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. He said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's the word that he's using to manipulate y'all. It's not him. He is not the Messiah. He is not the power. So you have to get unbrainwashed. That's not him. It is the word that he is quoting. That's the power. So you do feel some type of power when he reads the word because he's using his principles out of the bible and he's creating his own type of belief system which god does not respect and god has nothing to do with and god did say anyone comes and steal anything out these words and twist it and i'm paraphrasing <laughs> but i admit that i'm doing that with the with the intentions of, of warning people if you do that he said you are a thief and a robber so this guy is a bold man to be taking the words of God knowingly and using it to manipulate. He talks in the in the next part I talk about what he's going to get into is you should leave your kids because God there's a scripture where Jesus said if you cannot leave your kids, your your brothers, your sisters, you're not worthy to follow me. News flash, you are not Jesus. Jesus is spirit. He is he is Lord. God, Jesus when he said that, he was talking to his disciples and he was explaining you you are skipping the entirety of the chapter and you're taking an assertion insertion of that portion and you are feeding your people getting women and sexing them up god which he does not honor or do and perverting the people with false prophecy that is the as a false interpretation of what god was saying god is saying if you love me then you will love me above all else when you love somebody where you love them you'll forget your kid or not forget them but you'll you'll leave you'll leave your kids you'll leave your brothers you'll but you will leave your your sisters because you love god and you will do his commandments which says thou shall not kill thou shall not steal thou shall not covet thou shall not emulate you know thou shall not shed innocent blood if you obey his commandments that's when you love him that much that you obey him that is the type of love that is that is demanded commanded of us in order to see him in order to live with him in order to be with him but in return he will give you this life all that you're looking for seven god has it you talking about you ask the universe why you didn't ask the lord that's what I don't understand about people you say you don't believe but you still use his word for privilege god have mercy I just heard that the Lord just said for privilege. I believe that he just spoke to my spirit. You're using it for pri privilege to use it to manipulate his people. Seven is his people. I can see on her and I can see in her child that they are anointed, that they are called for a greater work. And you trying to slip in like the enemy to pervert her. You are in danger. And I'm just going to pray on this and I'm going to continue to try to compel because there's many, many people that are easily persuaded, especially in your 20s. Like I said, when you're in your 20s, you know how we are. You know how we are. We feel like, OK, I'm out of school or OK, the next step traditionally is for a man to marry me. And when that man does not come when you think he should, all of us been there, you know, most that's in our past 20s when they don't come you start feeling like you're not good enough you start settling for the one that you know that don't deserve you and you give up don't give up because i'm in my 30s now and, and and i look back it's it hey was it all worth it it wasn't yeah so you just know that when you're in your 30s look you 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 can recognize the enemy this guy is not that attractive in your 30s he can't get you with those lies and lines in your 30s he can't deceive you in your 30s he can't you understand that he likes to keep talking because if you ask him questions he don't know he's gonna look so stupid and he calls himself the messiah he put himself on a pedestal and he's got these people around him that makes him look good but he does not he's not good and what he's doing is wrong he could have been used by god 
He could have been great for the purpose, but this man chooses to despise God. He is angry with God and he calls himself God, but he's incapable. God is can't even stand in the presence of sin. So a man that sleeps with women and have two and three women and train people and hurt them and break them down and call their lives demons, call their heartache. God says, I desire a contrite spirit. That means a broken spirit. Who can bear a broken spirit? God said, I am, I can. So God is wanting your hurt. He says, cast your cares upon me. Ye that are la ye that have labored and are heavy, heavy laden, come unto me. I will give you rest. God desires you. This man is not capable of being God. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Uh, make sure y'all leave your comments below. Um, and do what you can. Do what you can. And for anybody, anybody in their 20s that may take this video. And you might be in a down place right now. Take it from me. Just because you think you're supposed to be married in, tw in your 20s. That's a lie. You don't know when God God's plan is for you. And if it was up to me, I would tell you to enjoy your life. Don't rush. You can make out your life to be whatever you want it to be. It's okay. God said a, wor a man that don't work, don't eat. A work man is worthy his hire. That means that a man that works should be getting paid. So this guy talks to tell, talks about not working and how that's Babylonian. The Americans work for the quote white man. But that is another deception. And again, the enemy, the devil, Satan, he comes to steal, kill and destroy. You understand that? So what he's teaching you are lies. But he's using the word of God because he knows that that's the power. So like I said, if you don't take nothing from me, know that the knowledge you think you're getting from him, you're not getting it from him. He's reading the knowledge. He's reading the Bible. But he's using it to manipulate you. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the remaining remaining of the video. And if it ends up being too long, I'm going to cut it. Okay? So again, I really appreciate your time. If you made it to this point, you the best. And I thank you so much. Make sure y'all leave your comments below. And just, you know, just show love. And I, although I wanted this guy gone, end it. I don't now. Because I know that you he got answered to God. And it's not going to be nothing good. Nothing good. It's going to be the, it's going to be worse than what I ever could imagine if he don't get his act right. If it's not too late because I he may have blasphemed the Holy Spirit and God said that's the one thing that I will not forgive you for. I love you and I appreciate you and if Eligio if you get this message, I really don't hate you. I really think you are smart and you know it. But what you know also is what you're doing is wrong. You might be wondering how to stop. The Lord says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Okay? Peace.